you guys, Sound6 Gaming here with another video today, and today I've got a tutorial about the attributes. You can uh, attribute modifiers, which, uh, yeah, attribute tutorial. So this is uh, just another command added in the latest snapshot, I'll have the commands in the description. They're really simple, so just allows you to put a title on the player screen and a subtitle. Pretty uh, simple. But yeah, the, um, I'm going to go over most of the attributes. If I'm missing attributes, you can uh, look them up on the Minecraft wiki page about the attributes. And you can just basically replace them in the commands I've got set up here. So yeah, you've got um, attributes modifiers for items and for mobs. I'm going to go over a lot of them, how to use them. Um, this, uh, these commands can get like pretty hard. I'm not the, they're pretty, yeah, they're pretty hard, so you m might just want to copy them and uh, replace the attributes or change uh, some things, because you've got all that. So, this is going to give me an iron helmet with attribute modifier operation. I don't even know what most of this stuff does exactly, but the, um, so do just copy this, and the important stuff is the amount and the attribute name. The at attribute name actually is the attribute. So this is generic dot max health. So this al actually allows you to give a player more hard. And well, the name behind there doesn't really matter. And then the amount is 10. So this is going to give me 10 extra hearts when I put it on the helmet. So yeah. Let's switch to game mode. Zero. I can't type. I can't type. Oh my god. Nerp. So. And oh no, it gives me uh, five extra hearts. So yeah, now I've got five extra hearts. They regen over the time. And yeah, pretty cool. Now, what I can also do is I can um, make this like. I don't know. Let's go crazy. F 60. Now, if I give this helmet to myself, and it also says here, plus 60 max health. <sighs> and as you can see, I now have four full health bars. So, this is pretty cool. It Maybe you can make like a brute or berserker class, which uh, actually has more health or something in a minigame or other stuff. Or just cool things. So, yeah. Back to game mode one. The next... Is um, this attribute you can put on uh, just about any item, and instead of using the sharpness command on the sword, you can actually just set the um, set the attack damage. So if I give the sword to myself, plus one thousand attack damage. So that's pretty nice. Um, also, command will be in the description. So this pretty much insta kills everything. Um, what we could do is just spawn a wither and insta kill it for demonstration that this does indeed work work way too good it just and you can set the attack damage to a million if you want but really more than 500 i think isn't really necessary because well i think the end dragon has 500 health but yeah, basically as soon as he's done charging up, we're gonna insta-kill this guy. Boom. One hit. One hit kill. So yeah, that's pretty overpowered. You can also just change the attack damage to a lower number or whatever you want. Also a lot of possibilities there. Then we have the movement speed on the next item. So this is basically uh, sugar. And the movement speed, what does is basically it changes your speed so once I hold the sugar I've got speed yep and basically um, the value how you edit the value in all of these commands is just by changing the amount the amount over here that's basically the important thing and the attribute name is what you replace then next we have knockback resistance now this doesn't always work plus 100 knockback resistance now, I think this would best be demonstrated if I had someone with a knockback sword hit me and it basically wouldn't really knock me um, back at all, but I'm just gonna try. 
to demonstrate it with some TNT. So yeah, play some TNT here. Hold the gunpowder. I moved a little bit. Now try not holding the gunpowder. So yeah, I did get launched like a bit further. The yeah, you didn't really notice the difference there too much, but I think it's more effective on like someone who actually has a knockback sword. So then next we have the follow range, which is uh, something you can use on summoning a mob. So right here we have creeper. Normally the follow range on a creeper is pretty goddamn gosh darn short. But now and I stand over here and I go to game mode zero. The creeper sees me. And normally he wouldn't see you too way closer. I can demonstrate again. Just flying really far away. In the game at zero. And he sees me from all the way over there. So yeah, you can put the follow range up to whatever you want. But mobs can basically then follow you from really, really, really far away. So now I have the follow range set to... 100 so this is the thing with summoning you have the summoning is actually the attributes are a lot simpler because you've just got attributes name of the attributes and then the base <laughs> instead of the amount and now we have the movement speed but then this time we're going to use it on a mob so same as last command we just uh, got generic dot movement speed and now if i go to game mode zero just watch this you there he goes. He's gone. Don't know where he went, but he's gone now. Oh no, crap. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, he's pretty gosh darn quick. So let's put this to game mode 1 again. Oh, just got some armor from the stuff over there. Um, then we have spawn reinforcement. Now I haven't actually gotten this to work. Um, well, it might work, but I haven't actually gotten a zombie to spawn reinforcements yet. But basically what this does is it allows a zombie to spawn reinforcements if it dies or take damage. Now, this is still a percentage, to, so that might be the reason it hasn't worked just yet. But um, yeah, that one's also pretty useful. Oh, sorry, got a pop-up there. And then we have horse jump strength is the last one. Um, I'm pretty sure these are other attributes. If not, I'll um, you'll just have to find out. I'll put a link to the attribute wiki page in the description, and also I'll just um, put all the commands in the description so you can copy them. Horse jump strength. So this is gonna summon a horse with a very high jump strength. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But now what I just need to do is get a saddle and spawn this horse. Now what? And now, now that I think about it, I should have probably just made it tame. Would have made it a lot easier. But let me just check if particles are on. Because I put particles off a lot. Because I work in ro some worlds with night vision. And then I don't like the constant particles around me. So <coughs> let me just tame this horse. Or she, or she. The horse doesn't love me. Or she? No, nope. Come on, horse, you're going everywhere, but you're not getting tamed. This time, this is gonna be it. It's a no. Uh, I should have given him like a hay bill or something. Would have made this a lot faster. So yeah. Now let's go back over here. And here's the fun thing about this horse. Whee! Whee! He jumps just overpowered high. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I think I have this set to the max because as you can it will uh, as you can see on the wiki page if you go there, there's a max base or whatever for everything. I think two was yeah, this is base 2 and he jumps that high. So yeah, that's pretty amazing. And um, those are attributes. You can do a lot with them. Um, just go and figure out what you can do with this. Just like, 
I don't know, make uh, some PvP maps or something and uh, just try it out. They're really cool. They uh, previously these things were only possible in MC Edit, I think, with a filter. But these commands um, are have been here for a while. I want to do a tutorial on them for a while, but I didn't. But now I did. So um, that was the video, and I'll see all you guys next time.